Hello my loves and welcome back to High Vibe Heels. If you haven't been here before, my name is Ashlyn Tori, and if you have, welcome back. Today we are tapping on feeling amazing in our bodies and this is super important to me because if you don't know this, I struggle with an eating disorder, growing up in the dance industry, growing up in the patriarchy in general. So many of us are told that our bodies aren't good enough, are told that they need to be changed, and especially when you're a dancer, there's so many expectations on you and your body to look and be a certain way, and so that brings about a lot of issues feeling good in our bodies. And I think this topic is just so universal, and if you find yourself having a bad body image day, just know that you're not alone, just know that it's something we all experience, but the amazing part is there are ways to shift out of this mentality, and so many times I'm talking with my clients, my friends, we're talking about body image, we're talking about appearance, especially with social media, we are just bombarded with these filtered photos, with the aesthetic on point, and that is just not what people's lives look like and so we can really get in our heads and expect ourselves to be at this level that is just not realistic and so it's really important to remind ourselves just how beautiful how precious how sacred our bodies are and switch our mentality from focusing on the negatives or focusing on the things that we want to change and instead focusing on the positives. And that is what I love about tapping, EFT, emotional freedom technique, is because we allow ourselves to acknowledge the things that we're feeling, not ignore them, not you know spiritually bypass them, but take a look at them and then change them, reprogram them. It's all about changing the limiting negative beliefs into positive, uplifting, high vibe beliefs. And to me, tapping is the best way to energetically do this. It's kind of like acupuncture without needles. You are tapping on the various meridian points in the body and allowing that stuck negative energy to release as we speak out affirmations. So I am so excited to do this tapping with you. All you have to do is just follow along on the different points that I tap on, repeat after me, repeat what I say, Take what serves you, leave what doesn't. Tapping is just a really personal practice as with any other spiritual tool. So just know that if something doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. And if it does, amazing, you'll feel that energetic shift immediately. And also make sure you have some water nearby because we are going to be moving through a lot of stuck energy and just like a massage or any other type of energetic release, you wanna make sure that you are replenishing your body with nutrients, okay? So let's go ahead and begin on the side of the hand the karate chop point, really diving into those negative beliefs, and then we'll start on the top of the head after that, okay? So just repeating after me. Oof, today I do not feel good in my body. Nothing that I wear feels good. I'm a bit bloaty. My skin isn't great. It's throwing my whole mood off. And when I don't feel good in my body, it affects every single area of my life. I wanna wake up and feel like a sexy baddie in my body every day. Shaking my hips like Shakira. <laughs> Twerking my booty like Anita. Twirling my hair and spinning around like Britney. I want to celebrate every part of myself. Because I know that my body is beautiful in its own unique way. It's just that society has brainwashed me into thinking otherwise. I'm so hard on myself and I tend to focus on all the things I dislike about my body instead of anything that I like. But even so, I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself because it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. 
And now I have the power to shift how I feel in my body right now. Amazing job, my loves. Deep breath in, holding at the top, and exhale, let it all go. Amazing job, my loves. I hope you were really able to tap into the root of where those feelings are coming from. Also acknowledge why you're probably having them. And now we are going to replace those negative beliefs with positive high vibe beliefs so you can feel amazing. Okay, so go ahead and start with me on the top of the head and just continue to repeat after me. Feeling good in my body is more in my control than I think. Sure, there are days when I'm going to feel off. Whether it's because of my hormones, something I ate or drank the night before, or a past wound or trauma that keeps coming up. But even so, I have the power to change it. I have the power to either celebrate my body or feel stuck in the yuck. And I don't wanna be in the yucky stuck. I wanna feel like my body is an extension of who I am, not something outside of it. And in order to do this, I have to create a relationship with her or him. Listen to her signals. Give her rest when she needs it. Nourish her, move her. Give her compliments, tell her how magical she is. And when I do those things, my body will only reflect back love to me. do that right now. I can make the decision to look at my body as a beautiful temple, as something that allows me to move through this life with ease, that allows me to experience pleasure, emotions, adventure, and dancing. And no matter what size or shape it comes in, it is divine. It is exactly what it's supposed to be in this moment. And instead of fighting against that, I choose to work with it. I choose to adorn this temple of mine in clothes that make me feel like a 10. And to consume foods that give me health and vitality. I choose to speak kindly to this body of mine. And anyone that doesn't or has anything negative to say about my body can fuck off. Because their opinion is not my problem. That's their own shit they need to work through and heal. I have my own healing work that needs to be done. and their opinions and their comments just come from BS patriarchal programming and trauma. 
it's not even their own truth. So I can't let what anyone else has to say about my body or women's bodies in general dictate how amazing I feel on a daily basis. I have to set those boundaries for myself. I have to stop following people that trigger me. I have to turn off the podcast of people telling me to lose weight in order to be happier. Or that a green juice cleanse will help me manifest the relationship that I want. (laughs) It's all coming from a place of scarcity and lack. And that is no longer the energy I want to be part of. So today I'm going to allow myself to show up and show out. I'm gonna wear the shorts. I'm gonna wear the crop top. I'm going to allow myself to feel confident. I'm going to focus on how I feel internally instead of others' perceptions of me. I'm gonna walk into my life today like I'm showing up on the red carpet at the Met Gala. because I'm that hot. And when I just acknowledge that, it allows me to bring my whole self to the world. And that's what the world needs me to do. Me feeling fine as hell and not apologizing for it. And so it is. Amazing job, my loves. Deep breath in, holding at the top, and exhale, let it all go. Well, that was so incredibly powerful. I just feel like shimmying my way through my day now. (laughs) I hope you feel the same, and I hope this tapping is something that you can come back to anytime you need it, because when it comes to our journey with our body image, our confidence, and things like that, it is not linear. It doesn't look a certain way. There's not an end destination. It's something that I'm constantly working on, but the goal is to have more good days in our body than bad. The goal is to have compassion for ourselves and to celebrate our bodies because they do so much for us and they deserve to be celebrated. And if you want to continue what we did today and really take that confidence, that inner self-worth to the next level, then click the link below because my program Confidence, the Heels Method is officially open for enrollment for the next round. And I would love to have you in this amazing group of women building our confidence on and off the dance floor through dancing in a heel and spiritual tools just like tapping. But thank you so much for being here. I love this YouTube community so, so much. And I will see you in the next video.